the Clasico isn't a match, it's the match for any Barcelona or Madrid player. And the emotional weight of the match is even greater if you've supported one of the two clubs from an early age. Paco Pavon joined the Real Madrid youth system at the tender age of 10. A Real Madrid man through and through, he championed the in-house style of the club, which so influenced the football of the first team. In his case, the experience of playing in the biggest game in world football came right at the start of his first team career in his fifth La Liga appearance. Because of injuries to Ivan Campo and Aito Karanka, some of us players from the reserves were training with the first team. Vicente del Bosque gave the opportunity to a few of us. It was a rush, but I spent a whole month getting one good piece of news after another. Playing against Barca was a bit more important, but the high I was feeling back then was... It was like, wow. But Del Bosque made everything very simple. He really helped me. Then my teammates were really supportive. So it wasn't really any kind of trauma, just the opposite. It was quite easy to handle it all. Vicente Del Bosque had given him his debut. The coach from Salamanca's spell in the dugout at Real Madrid saw numerous youngsters from the academy get their chance in the first team. And that's a situation that seems to be repeating itself now under Zinedine Zidane, a player with whom Bavon shared the changing room and someone he's got excellent memories of. More than that, Zidane back then was the best player in Europe and the responsibility he had was even greater than Luis Figo's. And he was one of the best players at the club, or Raul or even Roberto Carlos who maybe doesn't get compared as being at the level of those players, but he's the best left back in the history of the game. Zidane started the season on poor form, but by the time we got to the Clasico, he was playing superbly. Everyone remembers his controls and the way he played. It was like the ball was sewn to his boots. Back then, the gaffer was Vicente del Bosque, who gave the academy lads opportunities. Meca, Rivera, Aranda all made their debuts. But it was difficult to get a regular place in the team. You needed to be lucky. There were quite a few teammates injured, so I was getting games in the first team. I took my chance to get into the team. When you're starting out, those are the most important matches. You get your opportunity, and if you don't take it, they look for another player. Vicente del Bosque knew the youngsters, he knew who we were, all our names, our parents, ever since we'd started at the age of 10 in Real Madrid Castilla. That meant you had more of a chance of getting noticed and getting your opportunity. It also helped the team. It meant he knew what was needed for the first team. But the young defender learned the most from teammates who played in a similar position. That position, centre-back, is the one that has always had a lot of pressure, especially at a club like Real Madrid. I learned a lot in two years with Fernando Hierro, Aitor Carranca, Ivan Campo. In that short two-year period, I learned more about playing at centre-half than at any other time. They were brilliant. They all helped, but especially Fernando and Aitor, who were fantastic. There's a lot of competition in the centre of defence. You know only two of you can play, but they were brilliant with me. They're still good friends of mine. I've got masses of respect for them. Bavon played in as many as six Liga Clasicos, losing just once. The former player had the experience of winning in the rival's home ground, although he admits that the visit to the Camp Nou will be a huge test for the current Liga leaders. Real Madrid are in a good place right now. You can have last-minute problems like Bale's injury that can affect your plans because they're specific players for this kind of match, in the same way that Zidane was in my day. 
pues te puede eh, mover la balanza a un lado a otro. Pero todo está tan apretado, esos son los jugadores que pueden hacer la diferencia. Pero veo que Real Madrid en gran forma. Hay un momento positivo, es un equipo difícil. Creo que son más de un equipo que Barcelona en este momento. Barcelona está jugando en su casa. Barça está jugando en su casa. Y tienen esos tres arriba que pueden hacer la diferencia en un juego como este. En ese tiempo, yo creo que éramos. En mi día, creo que éramos superiores a Barcelona en términos de individual cualidad. Pues Tenemos un ataque que realmente hizo la diferencia. Digamos que sería. Estás jugando contra tu némesis, el único otro club que puede realmente comparar con ti. Es un match entre iguales, aun si entras en él en buena forma. Es por eso que digo que el momento, aun si Madrid está en un mejor momento que Barcelona, no tiene nada que ver con este partido en concreto. With over 100 La Liga appearances for Real Madrid, he's up among the academy players who have played the most games of the club over the last 30 years, and among the all-time top 25 academy players in the club's history. That's the legacy of Paco Pavón, someone who knows full well that the heart plays a huge role in the Clásico. In his case, a heart that's 100% Real Madrid.